Corbin can't play basketball. <laughs> Corbin <laughs> can't play basketball. Very, very right. What up? It's Joshua Bassett. I'm Matt Cornett. Corbin Blue. And I'm Jason Earls. And we're here with 17 to play superlatives for season three of High School Musical, the musical the series by Disney Plus. Boom. Mouthful. Frankie. Easy. Frankie. Frankie. I was going to say Frankie too. I was totally going to say Frankie. He doesn't miss. I don't know if he's doing He's always so quiet. And then like he just comes up with these zingers out of nowhere. He has the most out of pocket best jokes. I think I'm funny. And he's the only one that I get nervous trying to be funny around <laughs> because I know he's going to be funnier than me. Frankie again. Sorry, but hurt Sophia. Sophia no. has mastered social media as a science. I don't know. Oh, Dara knows her lighting. That's Dara knows her lighting. Sophia takes the best Polaroids. Yes. But I think Dara might take the best selfies. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. It's a great selfie cast in general, I feel like. We're really it really is. Really self absorbed. <laughs> <laughs> I me, mean, it's always. I, it's, it's me. I didn't want to say it, but I was wondering. I was like, I feel like just the times that I was there, Josh, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> fair. I'm, I'm always. This is my thing. They come to the. They come to the thing and they're like, Hey, we need you in 30 seconds. And I'm like. Got it. And then I get to set and they're like, you got time to get crafty. And I was like, I could have been chilling in my trailer. Although Perfect. I will say this se this season, Dara, uh, she has some of the best hair mm. like styles of the entire series. And they do take some time to perfect. So yeah. she she would give you a run for your money, but but you probably win. Sailor, oh my God. Sailor oh, is the sweetest yeah. human being on the planet. She's a new cast member this season. She plays Maddox. Maddox. Thank you. She plays Maddox. She is really like a, like a little sister to me. I really feel like she's just one of the purest souls. Sailor has not on, only gone to see Julia on Broadway. She came to St. Louis to see me in Mary Poppins. She came to opening night. She drove with her mom from Chicago. Yeah. Uh, so so sweet. much, so much yeah. love, so much support. Sailor has a heart of gold. Hmm. <laughs> This isn't really a spoiler, but I do wear this outfit that makes me blend in with the trees. I was like a little camouflage guy. And I took every opportunity that I could to scare as many crew members as possible. Cause we shot it at night. So I could just hide in the tree and run at people. <laughs> so I'm definitely mischievous, but. I feel um, I feel like the folks sitting in this panel are probably yes. the ones that would give them the, the most run for their money with that title. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. It's a feisty yeah. group here. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Sophia, Sophia Wiley. Sophia Wiley. Sophia. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Sophia. absolutely, Sophia, hands down. Because the thing is, it's not even about the ability she has, it's like how she dances. And there's a difference. Yeah. But she has that spark, that magic thing that just turns on when she, it's, it's really spectacular to watch. I will say without spoiling anything, we do see Corbin move a little bit this season and this man can move. That's true. Thank you, Matt. I get to dance with Sophia. That was uh, quite a treat, but she is so self-aware of not only her body, but even her body in uh, connection to the camera. She just is so aware how to create pictures, depending on whatever angle, how close, how far. She's It's, it's, it's really a, a skill that um, can't really be taught. What's wild is she's probably the best dancer, but she's one of the clumsiest human beings you'll ever be around, <laughs> which makes no sense. Dancers tend to be clumsy. Well, that I'm no clumsy sense. and I can't dance, so I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Josh has a very touch and go relationship with his lines. Sometimes he knows all of them. And sometimes he knows less than all of them. But his heart's always in the right place. There were a couple of times this season where I'd show up and I genuinely did not see that we had a scene on the call sheet. Yeah. And he said like, all right, scene four. And I'm like, we're doing scene four? I would say- defense, he's great at improv. So That's true. he definitely at least knows how to just like, keep the scene moving even if he doesn't know what's going exactly. on. Exactly. Adrian? Yeah. 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 It's actually great to see him when he does perform because all of a sudden he comes out of his shell and you see that he does have this very big personality. It's just, it's just I think it just takes the performance to bring it out of him. When he first like came onto set, he was the shyest, but then he immediately, like we played We're Not Really Strangers, uh, which is a great, uh, one of Josh's favorite games, a great conversation game. Um, and uh, it, once he like got comfortable, he was like, he immediately fit in perfectly and was like immediately fully himself. Yeah, it was actually like when he started hanging out with Sailor, the two mm. of them together unlocked something and they became like kind of the rowdiest. They would sort of squabble like siblings and it was very entertaining to watch, but they would go from being super shy to just wild in a matter of a few moments with each other. <laughs>
I would go to say either either Dara or Frankie, maybe. Hmm. I feel like Sophia is the most consistent, like amongst oh. all, like in terms of just the content, like she's a machine. Like yeah, I don't understand fair. how how she does that. It's like a second nature for her. Her content generation is prolific. Yeah. Jason, come on, come no, on. Look at this, this head of hair. This, this piece. <laughs> I would say maybe maybe between Sophia and Dara. Yeah. 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 I agree, exactly. And it looks good in everything, no matter what style they show up yes. in any given episode. I'm just like, that's my favorite look. And then next week, yeah. oh, that's my favorite look. And I love that they're, they do show so many styles. Like from season one till now, I feel like I've never seen the same style and it's amazing. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm just gonna make it simple. Joshua is so goofy. The guy's all over the place and in the best way. He really is. He catches me off guard often. I, I never know what to expect with, with Josh. Josh, do you know what I want to say is a joke? Stinky. Stinky, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. Should we tell them? Uh, Should we tell them uh, what happened? Yeah, go for no. it. No, okay. I mean, if you want to, it's up to you. It's your story. We're in the middle of shooting. You know when someone's like, hey, I got to tell you something, and your mind goes like wor the worst thing? It was worse than that. He goes, I got to talk to you. I was like, okay. He's this like, is me. Yeah, Jason, he pulls me aside. He's like, look, you know, we're shooting outside. It's very sweaty. Uh, a couple people have made some comments. Maybe it's time to, you know, get a little deodorant. And I was like, what? I was like, how long have you known this? And he's like, it's, it's, you know, yesterday and today. I was like, what do you mean yesterday and today? Why didn't no one tell me? So for an entire two days of filming, I walked around set being the stinkiest little guy <laughs> on the set and nobody said a word. And I'm still mad at Matt for that. I'm still mad at Jason for not saying anything sooner, but I respect- We were bad friends. <laughs> yeah, we were bad friends. We were bad, we were bad, bad friends. friends. You could say Joshua is stinky. What's your actual superlative, Jason? <laughs> Uh, um, Josh is so talented. Legitimately, it doesn't matter what the kid tries, whether he's picking up a new instrument, whether he's singing a song, he sings like an angel. He, 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 his emotional availability as an actor is, it's beautiful to watch. We went roller skating once and he's like the best roller skater I've ever seen. He was tap dancing on roller skates. He's just somebody who, who never ceases to amaze you with his many, many, many talents. And he's stinky. Oh, so I thought we were still gonna do is, cause I already had mine for Matt and I was gonna say is so hard working. Every time I would look, he's always going over dialogue. He's always going over dancing. At, he's always bettering himself. He's always learning. I always just believe that the second you think that you're the best that you can be, that's when you've lost. I just always love to see how you just are constantly, constantly just leveling up and bettering yourself. I will say Matt is the best at making you feel important. Like when Matt focuses on you and talks to you, he's genuinely interested. He makes you feel like what you say is important. Uh, he wants to be there as a support, to be there as a friend. Matt, I guess, is the best at making you feel safe or at, at being a safe space. I think, you know, in the last few years, there's lots changed in, in all of our lives. And I think I still look to and lean on Matt for safety. And, I, you know, just being around, whether it's on set or just knowing I can call him at any time, I can cry. And that is a, a gift that is priceless. Oh, oh, I have a good one for this. Please go. And I only say this because you told me this. Yep. Corbin can't play basketball. <laughs> Corbin <laughs> can't play basketball. Very, very right. Yeah, yeah. Chad Danford can't ball? You're I, telling I, me Chad Danford? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember we, so at the camp we had a basketball court and I specifically remember asking you, I was like, yo, you want to go like shoot some hoops? And you were like, dog, I cannot play basketball. <laughs> nope. Hmm. <laughs> no, 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 never. Don't, don't, don't catch me shooting hoops because it's just gonna be sad. It's just gonna ruin all of your childhood dreams. That's, that's all it's gonna do. Corbin can't help but making everyone feel seen and making everyone feel special. I mean, I know it's kind of Jason what you said to Matt, but you are so grounded mm. and so humble and very present when you show up to set and, and and you make everyone from crafty to the executive producer feel seen and feel uh better i don't know you just you can't be mean baby that's what it is you, you can't be you can't make anyone feel less than or feel different everyone feels safe and included around you and i really really appreciate that jason would never abandon you mm. jason is a ride or die for life jason i hope you're in my wedding i hope that I know you till the very, very end, but Jason is somebody who, when he's by your side and on your team, he will fight to the death. I love that. Jason will never not make you laugh. Jason is, is genuinely one of the funniest human beings. Uh, 
even in just his physical like like mannerisms it's one of my first scenes i filmed with jay yes one of my first scenes i filmed with jason it took me like three takes to actually get the beginning part of the scene because he has to turn and look at me and just him turning and looking at me made me laugh he's a hilarious person and always has a joke for everything Jason never takes things for granted. Mm. Uh, I, I, I really feel like you always just make the most out of everything. Your, your position with everyone on set uh, and how you have been such a mentor to everyone, you never s cease to, to, to actually take advantage of a moment. Oh, I like you guys all so much. <laughs> you say such nice things.